So good day guys. So um in this tutorial is tuturuan ko kayo sa basics ng C programming language. So I have here a simple hello world program. So I know alam iba sa inyo is alam na tong paano gumawa ng simple hello world program. Pero aminin man natin o hindi is ilan sa atin is, is hindi yo alam yung mga uses ng mga functions na mga na, na ginagamit na written dito sa program. So, hindi natin alam kung ano ang uses ni STDOPNH, ano nga ba, bakit sila ginagamit. So, yun yun ang i-discuss natin dito sa tutorial. So, um, in this video is, i-explain ko to line by line, para malaman nyo kung ano nga ba ang mga uses ng mga functions that is written dito sa program. So, so um, sorry guys for the noisy surroundings. So, um, here we are, so the first line of program we have here the hashtag include is tdo.h so ano nga ba tong si hashtag include is tdo.h so ano nga ba ang role ni hashtag include is tdo.h sa program so basically guys this hashtag include is tdo.h is a header file so ano nga ba ang header file so ang header file guys is a file with extension that h so for example we have here the is tdio point h so meron siyang extension na dot h so yun yung header file so kung saan nasa kanya or nasa header file yung mga functions declarations and mga macro definitions to be shared several source of files so there are two types of header file guys so the first is um, the files that the programmer write in the second um, their file is um, the file that comes with your compiler so that's the uses of to what so that is um, a header file so here we have here the hashtag include so ano nga ba tong si hashtag include so ano nga ba ang role ni hashtag include sa header file or sa program. So, first is um, this hashtag include is siya yung nagsasabi sa compiler or um, sinasabihan niya compiler na i-include so, from the word itself i-include yung contents at um, um, files ni stdo.h sa program. So, guys, hashtag include is a preprocessor. So, talking about stdo.h so, Ano nga ba tong si stdo.h? So guys, stdo.h stands for standard input output. Kung saan nasa kanya yung mga functions, yung mga library functions ni uh, printf and scanf na usually ginagamit natin sa program to take input output sa program. So without declaring stdo.h sa program is hindi tayo makagamit or Kung gagamit man tayo ng printf and scanf sa program, is makakos yun ng error. So, hindi magrarun niya ang ating program. So, that's the um, that's the uses of um, declaring um, um, a header file in the program. So, the second line of our program we have here is the um, int main. So, ano nga ba tong si main? So, si main is, um, dito nagsisimula yung execution ng ating program. So, dito ang starting point ng ating program. So, yun yung uses ng main. So, next is we have this um, printf. Then, we have this text hello world. So, ano nga ba tong si printf? So, sa, sabi ko ganina, si printf is ang library function ni isd.h. So, without declaring isd.h, without, without declaring isd.h, header file, without declaring um, stdo.h sa program is hindi tayo magagamit ng printf. So, we need to declare stdo.h para magagamit tayo ng library function na printf. So, basically guys, printf is a um, um, library function to send formatted output to the screen. So, at, ang role ni printf sa program is siya yung um, nagsisend. Siya yung um, um, siya yung nasisend ng output sa program so in this program so for example in this program we have this um, hello world 
So, si printf, siya yung magdi-display ng Hello World program sa console screen or sa output 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 screen. So, yun yung gamit ni printf, guys. So, next is we have, so the last part of our um, line is we have this return 0. So, so this return 0 is um, this is this is ito yung statement guys na kung saan um, this is an exit program so kapag umabot ng execution ng program dito sa return 0 is automatic end of the program na so dito yung natatapos yung program so um, di, so yun yung um, um, explanation about the uses of the functions na napakalo na napaloob dito sa um, um, simple hello world program um, so so um, next guys so um, we have this bunch of code or shall i say line of code of how to make a simple calculator in c program so ganun pa rin i-explain ko to line by line in order for you para maintindihan niyo yung process yung logic kung paano ginawa um, itong simple C program na ito. So, please guys, don't skip this, vidi this video and watch this video until then um, para makuha may makuha kayo mga learnings sa tutorial na ito. So, first, um, uh, I declare a hashtag include stdio.h header file. So, para uh, magamit ko yung um, library functions na si printf and scanf. So, um, then, um, I declare um, the int main function. So, so, the int main function is required to sa um, C program. Dahil ito yung starting, po starting point of the execution of the program. So, int main, then uh, open and close parentheses, then with a, with corresponding, with a corresponding um, open and clearly curl bracket. So, next is, um, I declare, I declare a data type and variable. So, for here, I declare char data type with a variable name operator. So, char stands for um, character data type. So, int, so I declare so here I declare data type int, which stands for integer. So here um, I use um, um, I declare a variable name, which is num1, num2. So bakit num1 at num2 lang? Bakit dalawang variable lang ginamit ko? So dahil um, dalawang um, dalawang um, input lang ang inihingi natin sa program na ito. So next is the result variable. So, ang result, so, so, sa result, so, ang role ni result variable dito sa uh, program is siya yung mag-hold sa result ng dalawang uh, variable na to, which is si num1 at si num2. So, then, so, I, so, then, I initialize, then, so, then, I initialize the value of the three variable in theta type to zero. So, yung value nila is equal to 0. So, here, um, I have a text here, please enter an operator um, plus minus times divide. So, here, I use printf to, um, to put this text on the at, in the output screen or in the console screen. So, next, I, so next, I write scanf to um, to um, get input from the user. So, here, I use person C. Um, obviously, I use person C because um, I use um, I used here special characters, which is plus, minus, times, divide. So, plus, minus, times, divide is a special characters. So, which leads me to use data type character. So, with the variable name operator. So here, scan f, then I declare a person c which stands for um, printing a character, then and then the variable name operator. So every time um, 
I will choose here or a plus or minus times divide. So if I use so if I choose plus, so the plus um, operator will be stored here in the operator um, variable name. So next here is um, so what I want to do is um, after the execution of the first um, uh, after the execution of operator, so I want um, I want um, I want the I want the user na to enter um, the number that um, na gusto niyang um, I perform. So here um, I put a text. Please enter the values for two operands for num1 and num2. So here I use. So here um, I put scan f again because I'm um, I'm telling the user to input two numbers. So here I use two percent d. Percent d means printing the integer. So so percent d is for integer data type. So percent c is for character data type. So here uh, I declare the two um, I declare two percent d and declare the two corresponding variable name which is the num1 and num2. So after that so um um I use an switch function. So why I use switch function? Because switch is very easy to um, use because you just want to uh, match the variable um, stored variable uh, match the variable value to the case. So so, pwede rin tayo ang gumamit dito ng FLS. So, um, in this tutorial, so in this video is, uh, gamit tayo ng switch case. So, here, I will use switch. Then, ito yung um, expression niya. So, switch, then operator. So, nilagay natin dito yung um, variable name operator. So, ang store dito sa um, operator is yung plus minus times divide. So, pagkatapos ng um, switch operator is um, gagawa tayo ng case event. So, here, um, lagay natin yung case, then plus, then result, then equals to num1 plus num2. So, then next is, so, we will break this case. So, pagkatapos ng execution na ito, ng case plus na ito, pagkatapos yung mixed kapag pinili mo yung plus sign, is automatic magbe-break siya. So, end of the execution na. So, then, case minus, then result equals num1 minus num2. So, kung ano yung result ni num1 at num2, is automatic, papasok siya sa result variable name natin. So, case uh, multi, um, multiply operation, so result equals num1 one times num2, then break, then, ulitin lang natin, case, um, divide, divide operation, equals result, equals num1, divided by 2, break. So, uh, default. So, ano ang use, use in default dito? For example, um, mag-type tayo dito, mag-i-input tayo ng value sa operator, tapos, hindi, yung, hindi match sa case, um, case natin. So, automatic default siya. So, lalagay yung text dito na. Lalagay yung text dito na. You have entered an invalid operator. So, yun yung default. Para siyang um, um, if else pa rin. Naka, kapag false, so, i-execute kung you have entered an invalid operator. So, here, um, um, so, in, in, this, in this statement, so, I will print the the variable uh, the variable stored so okay so for example the result of percent d percent c 
and percent t. So, for example, um, I choose plus sign. So, and I enter 1 and 2. So, automatic. Ang lalagay dito is the result of 1 plus 2, which is the value of num, percent num1 is 1, and the value of num2 is 2, percent c plus equals percent d. So, dito, declare ko lang yung variable nila. So, ito yung syntax. Paano yung um, display ng um, value or the result? Paano yung pag-display ng value sa, uh, using printf? So, num1, operator, then lagay natin yung num1. Dahil ito yung na, na una, yung percent d. So, so itong percent d is num1 to. Then, yung percent c is si operator variable. Then, si percent d is yung num2 equals percent d is ito yung result. So, try natin itong iran. So, return 0. Exit. So, try natin itong iran. Run natin to. So, I will choose plus. Then, I will input uh, I will input num1 4, then num2 5. Then, execute. Done. So, the result is 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, please enter. So, run again. So, I will choose uh, minus sign. Then, I will choose 10 for I will store 10 for num1 then I will store 10 for num2 equals 10 times 10 equals 0. So, Ganun lang kadali yun. So, I hope um, I made myself clear. Naturuan ko kayo. Or uh, na-enlighten ko kayo sa logic ng kung paano ito ginawa yung simple si uh, calculator na to. So, please subscribe in my channel para sa mga new um, tutorial sa channel na ito. So, thank you guys and God bless.